I am a minute or two early. Who's looking for vendors? Oh, that's um, Lily. No, that's Melly Mel and Tammy. Mm. That's the Halloween event, but I think I want to go and design instead of do that and not have to worry about Maria being ready or being stressed. You know what I mean? We'll see. Let's go if I can load the live. Let me see. Let me see. Well, I can't find it yet. I'll have to wait a few minutes here. Hey guys! Hello! I'm looking for you on Facebook. Just give me a second. I'm a minute or two early, but welcome, welcome. We're here with the Craft Around the Clock group. I am JoJo with JoJo's Rustic Remnants, LLC. So if you're new here, please tell me you're new. We're Jordan Matthews, what are you doing? Am I first? You are first. And oh, by the way, I got this crazy telephone and I picked it up the other day to show people, Jordan. Oops. I got this thing to design with and I picked it up and I said, wait. Hello, Juan Pablo? One minute, please. I'll get Nana for you. <laughs> and she cracked up laughing. <laughs> oh gosh. Nana, you can't see? Well, we don't have the we don't have the live up yet. Hold on, here we go. Anyway, I'm a minute or so early. I'm so so excited about um, hold on about getting my Tamala. You know I am, but I think she needs to be holding a, a little trick or treat bag. You know, like the orange one you made, but a mini one. Come on, Jordan. Hey, Tracy. We're just showing off this crazy made to look like an antique thing that I got at. Um, this weekend, I was at a craft slash tag sale fair, and it was fantastic. We, uh, we, meaning my sister Maria and I and my mom and my nephew, pretty much sold out. I think we had five things left. <laughs> so we were excited about that. Anyway, um, let's get started because we only have the 45 minutes. It's exactly 6.15. And um, I am working with this amazing star that I got from Deco Exchange. Do you got to slide it? I don't see any comments. Oh, sorry, Mom. Nana's here. She's going to be reading the comments for me and try to keep me on track because you know I like to get out of hand. Can you see him now, Mom? Here, yeah. I can make it bigger. Sit down. Nana and her one. Yeah, and I got Nana and her one. So anyway, I got this amazing star from Deco Exchange. I think this is the small one, and I definitely put it on there, cattywampus. Okay, so my oval wreath, which is it's twenty one inches tall, and it's sort of egg shaped. Okay, so I'm good with that. Here, if I shrink it down, can you still see? Is that better? Yeah, I can't really see, but I'll keep getting up and down. Okay, so Alicia's here and Maria Campanella. Everyone's been asking about when we're going to do the um, the orange creamsicle cookies. So I talked to Maria. Those probably aren't going to be till June or July. Maria is having knee replacement surgery at the very last day of May. So she's going to be out of commission for a while. Hey, Mom, you're bumping my, uh, you're going to make my thing seasick. Anyway, hey, Vincent. Hey, everybody, if you wouldn't mind sprinkling, I greatly appreciate it. We're working with this amazing, I get my grapevines, and I got this star from Deco Exchange or shoplikejojo.com. <laughs> it's working. It's working. And I definitely did it a little on the Sweden. angle. Somebody's here from Sweden. Hello from Sweden. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. My name is Jojo with Jojo's Rustic Remnants, oh, LLC. And thank you for sprinkling. This wreath, we're going to go in and we're going to do super, uh, I don't want to say basic because there's nothing basic about it, but it's going to be Americana. It doesn't necessarily have to be 4th of July. And I'm going to go in with a ton. This is the boxwood out of the um, affordable greenery from Deco Exchange. And you can get this stuff. And I'm pretty sure they still have it, but not 100%. Hey, Maria. Um from shoplikejojo.com. So I want it to be relatively simple, but still beautiful. So first things first, we got I just attached my star and I stapled my extra long pipe cleaners. I'm in love with these things because um, it makes it so much easier to work with and you can just cut the excess off and who needs that? 
You can save it if you want to. I do not. So I put a few attachments. One, two, three, four, four, I think. One, two, three, four. I didn't do the fifth one. It wasn't necessary. And that's how I attached it. And I am going to work on my bow first. I think I'm going to have my bow right up here at 11-ish, 11.30-ish. And we're going to be using the two and a half inch embossed ribbon that I love. I love all the embossed. Love it, love it. And um, I, I didn't think I was going to love it, but I love it so much I have like a whole Jeffrey's wall. Here, Dee's here, Alicia. Here. Hey, Jeffrey. Hi, D. Hi, Alicia. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you for the stars, Maria. That's Jeffrey, sweet of you. Because Nana can't reply to you, and she's devastated about it. Something happened with her... Everybody's iPad. Her yeah. iPad, and she's devastated. She's really ready to call Juan Pablo and give him the what for and be like, hey, buy me a new computer. Just kidding. It doesn't have anything to do with a new computer. It doesn't have anything to do with Juan Pablo either, Mom. I'm just joking with you. So anyway, I'm going to go in with this two and a half inch. And I'm not going to make my bow gigantic. I mean, I'm going to have four or five ribbons, but I mean, I don't mean, I mean the loops. You know what I mean, right? Hey, Debbie. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Julie Francis. Where you been, friend? All right. So I just need a little pinch more of that. And I think I'm going to do two of these in the red. I love this red. It's a super true red. And it goes really well with the other pieces I'm going to show you. I got some really cute ribbons that are rustic in nature. They are burlap. It's a, with a navy blue and burlap star. As well as, I'm going to cut this long because I never know what I'm going to do with them. And God forbid they're too short. I might lose my mind. I'm going to go in with this burlap. So pretty. Uh, with the natural stars, which matches this natural star very, very well. And this one's a heavy duty, thick one. I want to say that everything I'm using today. Oh, Facebook fixed a comment. Did oh, they you... fix it? Oh, she's running for the iPad. Careful, Ma. Careful I with the know. wires. I know. You got me hooked up. C careful. Here. I'm just going to turn the machine like that. God help us all. Okay, she's running for her iPad. She's going to go see if they can fix it. She wants to read off her iPad. Anyway, I love this. I think everything I'm using today I got from Deco or Shop Like JoJo, except I'm not sure that I got this from there. If Jordan is here, he may know. But this is a designer's excellence piece that I absolutely love. It's just really traditional, and it has some beautiful eucalyptus with some, it's a variegated eucalyptus, so it has sort of those creamy white edges. Love that. All right. I just twisted my bow. That's not good. But anyway, and I was not happy with the Facebook yesterday. She was losing it, losing it, people. Let's go a little longer. I love this ribbon. This ribbon is number RGC 1334 k 6 It's phenomenal. Super thick ribbon. It's a beautiful natural burlap. So you get the natural color stars and like that painted on blue burlap. I flip and love it. And if you're into the rustic, um, thank you, Alicia, or the... That natural look about it, it's perfect. This one now is a faux burlap in beige or natural, whatever you want to call it, with little white stars. It's a one and a half. This one is RGA 1115N2. RGA 1115N2. Uh, Alicia, before I forget, double check with the hubs. I sent um, April and May today. Uh, let's see. I didn't want to forget that. So we're going to do this one. And I'm not sure. The ribbon matches your glove. Does it? I don't know. My little this, I just got home from work. I didn't bother to change. Excited to see this one done. Me too. Ew, I just literally yanked it off my shelf and said, I think I'm doing this tonight. 
So I'm going to do one of the blue. I think I'm going to do two loops each. Gloria hopes to meet you in July. Where? At Halloween event. <gasps> I'm trying so hard. I really, really, really want to go. I know that there's people out there who want to sell their tickets. So I'm just trying to decide. Am I going to... I don't think I want to put that kind of pressure on my sister. I want her to be able to heal and take care of herself because she's having knee replacement. I'm just going to use this one. This is, again, that beautiful embossed ribbon. And you guys, this stuff is waterproof. I don't know if you heard me yesterday or not, but I... It, D. Stebbins says, my husband was in the kitchen, heard your voice, came running in. That's JoJo. Ah! <laughs> hey, Hobbs, what's up? Um, and so we're going to cut all of this long, okay? And then we're going to get rid of this. Get rid I of did, this. thank you, he's, she said. Oh. Alicia. Oh, oh, good, perfect. Um, let's see. I'm going to zip tie this portion. Then I'm going to wrap my... Oh, but you have to have the zip tie going the right way, Joanne, or it just isn't going to work. Come on, get your life together, girl. Let's see. That's Mo better. Then I'm going to put my natural... Um, pipe cleaner. I know I say this all the time, but I don't call it a chenille stem because I'm old. We call them pipe cleaners. All right. Nice, tight. Move that down a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to put this over the top so I don't see that ugly um, zip tie, but my pipe cleaner matches the rest of my ribbons. All right. Ta-da! Oh, that was Luciano. <laughs> he was huffing. I'm probably talking too loud and he can't sleep. All right, so let me pull these long tails ouch down. You guys, I don't know what's going on here, but I have just been getting cut up. I don't know if you can see all that, but this is a splinter. I got cut up everywhere yesterday. Big hot mess. Hot mess express. And I'm going to move some of these up to the top. Some down. You know I'm going to fix this a hundred times, right? Because that's just what we do with our bows. I'm hoping you guys can see. I still have not gotten a new Mebo. Your What's that? Well, I loved your blouse. Oh, thanks, TJ Maxx. Nothing special. Thank you. All right. So here we are with our bow. Put that little centerpiece up in there. And he says she's so funny. Who, Luciano? D. Oh. D. Hydrophin. <laughs> What's his name, D? Let me say hello properly. And if is he is he a good guy? Does he have a brother? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let me get this bow up John. in here. John! What's on, John? What's up, John Stebbins? What's happening, Fran? All right, I'm going in, and I'm going between my grapevine, not around my grapevine. If you want to go around, do it. It's fine. I just don't like to see it. You say, Jojo. Very cute gloves. I think I've only seen you in T-shirts. I usually only wear T-shirts because, you know, when I get home, typically, it's because when I get home from work, the bra is off. No brother? No and no brother. Oh, Lord. Well, that's disappointing. So you have any cute cousins? I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm between my grapevine, as you can see, and I'm pulling it tight, as tight as I can, and just giving it a twist. Now, if you wanted to leave that there and make a hanger out of that, if it was going to hang the right way, you he could. Said, it's not. Back. I'm watching you craft. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you watching. I really, really do. It means so much to me. All right, so I am in love with this embossed ribbon, guys. Now that I have, like, one in every color, now I'm investing in all the sizes. It's really ridiculous. But, you know, when you have an addiction, you just have to feed it sometimes. Okay. Long strips coming down. It doesn't feel like, um, huh? It doesn't feel like bare soap, though. It does not feel like ferrous silk. It is not ferrous silk, and, but for the price, I would use this every day. Ferrous silk is very expensive. This is a super economical ribbon. 
that has a lot of bang for its buck, Nana. It is, not only is it, um, I wouldn't say, yeah, I would say waterproof because I had mine out in the rainiest April that we've had on record here in the Northeast. And absolutely nothing happened to my ribbon. You saw it, the mailbox, the everything, right, Mom? I used all my pinks and purples and lime greens. And they looked amazing on my lamp post, not the post box, the lamp post. Me too. I've got to get more colors. I love it. I, I love it. I've got about five colors. I've really been enjoying it. I was I was surprised. I was like, oh, nothing beats Vera Silk. But I'll tell you what, I love the feel of it. It has like this velvety, like a felty touch. All right. So now I'm going to combine a couple of these and loop them down. And what did I do with that pipe cleaner? I'm going to loop this. Julie Francis, I forgot. Where did you say you got your self photo on your shirt and your business name oh, on your shirt? Oh, my business ones were made by Amber at Crazy Craft and Mama on dot com is where you can go. CrazyCraftandMama.com. All right, I don't want to go too high with this, but I have to make sure I have enough loop so that it comes down and hides the mechanics. All right, so we got that one. And then I'm going to do two of these as well, and they're going to go a little bit longer. Oh, thanks so much. Just work clothes, guys. That's all. I mean, I know like I look like a slob on my regular days, but when I go to work, you know, I try to, I try, I try to look appropriate. All right. Last week I was all suited up. You should have seen that, but you know, I only have to do that when I have to talk to the trustees or something. Oh, right. mama. She went like this. Sorry. She didn't mean to make you all drunk. Hey, Deborah. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Julie. No problem. Says you're beautiful every day. Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you. I'm just more of a casual person. I like to feel comfortable. And sometimes when I'm dressed up, I don't feel like myself because I'm like, I feel like I'm putting on airs or something. I just want to be comfortable. So when I go to work and I wear shirts like this, I feel like I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut this one short. Just give it a little bit. This one, I'm going to glue it into place. It is wrapped around um, a piece of wood, um, but I don't want it to keep sliding because it will make me insane. So we're going to glue it, and I'm going to give it a little touch underneath there just to anchor it a little bit. And then we've got these really nice long pieces, which I'm going to cut, but I think I'm going to wait to cut until I'm done because you never know. I might extra humpty hump. Or not, because this is going to be a really simple, for me, this is like an everyday design, right? If you're into the Americana and the, um, what's it called, Ma? I don't want to say, it's not primitive, more country, more um, rustic. This is an everyday thing that you would find here, especially here in New England. For some reason, I seem to find more of that uh, than anywhere else. And now I'm going to cut up all of my box wood and I think the stars are still available at, at shoplikejojo.com but I'm not sure what size is available I love absolutely love a box wood and this is a nice um, tiny one like early American look. thank you thank you who said that Lisa Moore. thank you Lisa if you guys, if some of you are out there and you're brand new, tell me please where you're watching from. And I would greatly appreciate it, appreciate it if you would like and follow the page as I build my business back. I'm going under here. I'm probably going to cut this one in half. I like to use my pieces as whole as possible, but I also like to make them last and go up into all the pieces so we don't see any of the mechanics and it just looks like it naturally decided to grow there. Tracy Bradley's here. Hey Tracy. 
How are you, friend? What's going on? All right, so we're gonna keep doing that. I mean, this is a super easy multiple. Like if you had this star or another star, it's a super easy multiple to do. I rarely make multiples. Mm -hmm. Number one, hey, Jean Bunker, how are you? I rarely sell a multiple, no matter how many times I try that in Etsy. Um, it just doesn't seem to work for me. I have mm -hmm. sold double doors before. Lisa Morris, I am knowing when they're from <gasps> Connecticut. <laughs> oh, I was just in Connecticut. I was in Suffield this past week at the Big White Barn. I think it's called Hilltop, Hilltop Farm. And we were there. Had a great time. Hello, this wreath. I'm from Kansas. <gasps> Hello, Beverly, Kansas. Kansas. Welcome, Beverly. Thank you guys so much for coming in and spending your time with me. I greatly appreciate that. It means the world. I am live every Sunday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern generally Standard Time. Speaking, not, what? Not in a couple of weeks. Just generally speaking. Who? Generally speaking. I will be up at some point to hang out with you. Okay. After the May. <laughs> yeah, I got to get through May. So I am the director of event management at Westfield State University. And it, this is, you know, the end of August through Oct late October is insane. But spring is even more insane. Um, and then I get like a couple of weeks to catch my breath. And then we Watching move. From the first time, Wendy from first time from Michigan. What? I used to live in Michigan. I lived in Lansing, and I lived in, um, where did I live? I used to, you know Lansing Lug Nuts? I used to work for the company that managed their spring training area. Uh, I worked for the Lansing Entertainment and Public Facilities Authority. It was a great job. But then I came home. Because my sister Maria had a baby and, you know, I wanted to be here and all that kind of good stuff. So I got me a job doing what I used to do. Um, and what type of glue do you use? I use Gorilla Glue. Always, always. I did at one time use AdTech. And some people have great luck with it. I did not. So I switched over to Gorilla and so far, knock on wood. I haven't had any troubles. It can get very, very steamy around these parts. Very humid. So, um, you know. This will be beautiful just with the boxwood. I'll be honest with you. I think I love it. But I do have some really pretty berries and some other eucalyptus and things like that that we're going to use. Let me just roll these and get them out of the way. Get those out of there. And we're going to get these big ends out of here, too. I don't know, Mom. I love this wreath. Might have to keep this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I did my entire front porch in all sunflowers, sunflowers of every color that I bought from shoplikejojo.com and from Deco Exchange. This one's going to go underneath that star. I'm going to go in and How under. Day? Great. Tracy's asking, great, we sold out. Oh, we sold out, yeah. It was, we had like five things left. So I was thrilled because we didn't know what to expect. We had never been there before. You know, when people are trying to do craft fair stuff and tag sale stuff, sometimes the crafter can get killed, right? You know, they just, they don't want to buy because they're there to find Ruth, less expensive things. Hey, Ruth. Um... You just never know. But we did great. It, the funny thing is, is I didn't sell one of my items. I, we only sold the food that we make, which isn't really surprising. Where did the star, where did the star come from? <gasps> Shoplikejojo.com. You can get the star. Type in wood star. So mine is cockeyed because I did that on purpose. My wreath actually is straight up and down here. And I think I want to go a little bit posted? underneath. 
This is not posted yet, but if you're interested, all you have to do is message me on Messenger before I list it in Etsy, okay? Is someone asking or are no, you I'm asking? Just, I'm just telling you. I'm okay. Asking. Nana's asking. Nana doesn't like it when I don't post ahead of schedule, but sometimes I don't know what I'm going to make. <laughs> from Canada. Hey, to Canada. Marvis. Thank you so much. Please make sure that you're liking and following the page. It costs nothing, and it's like the easiest, uh, cheapest, non-expensive at all. It's free to help crafters out. All right, I'm coming around the bottom edge, and literally, guys, I'm just taking this whole pick, I'm bending it in a C-shape. Oh, Vincent sent you 200 stars. Vincent! You're the, you're the bomb. Thank you so much. Probably shouldn't say that word on Facebook, but you're awesome. Okay, so now, I got one more piece, we're gonna use it. I wanna come down a little Dakota. further. What's that? Dakota's here. Hi, Dakota. Hi, Layla. This grapevine was 21 inches when I started. Right now it is. How big is the grapevine? I'm reading it right now. Up from the top, it's 24 from top, from the bottom here to the top here. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and I use two of these. And this I think is from the. Um, it's called Affordable Greenery. They have this whole line called Affordable Greenery, and the number is 80258GN for green, and it's the mini boxwood that glue all over me. I used two of those in this wreath. You probably could have got away with one, but I like to stuff it full. Ruth says she found you. Hey, Ruth. Because the other page got My hacked. other page was hacked, yep. so you have to use the LLC. All right, this little piece is going to go right under there, under my ribbon to keep it, to keep it up. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous piece. Again, this is Designer's Excellence, it's hand wrapped, so you can just rip it apart. And I'm gonna take these like this. This number is, um, and honestly, I can't remember where I got it. Uh, Designer's Excellence, the number is 170294, 29 inch berry foliage spray. Uh, 170294. All right, so I don't want it to be like red, white, blue. I want to mix it in. So I'm going to tear these apart again. And then I have a little bit of white. That's Gia snoring. It's her way of wishing you all hello. Snoring. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm just going to mix these berries and eucalyptus in with my little bitty mini boxwoods. Get some of that white up in there. Okay. Actually, you can break these up into three, which is perfect for me. Lucci's heavy breathing over there. What's the matter with you, boy? He's licking his paws. And then I'm going to triangulate out every color. So if I can, I'm going to divide them all up into threes and move them here and there and everywhere. But I, whoops, I just pulled some... I pulled some boxwood off. Let me just reattach that to the stem. Because, you know, I'm a delicate flower. I'm rough housing. Okay. There we go. And now my loops are going to look... These loops are going to look even fuller. Which makes me happy. Okay. So then we're going to break these up what into three. Fancy store name? My Etsy store is JoJo's Rustic Remnants. And if you go to the pinned comment at the bottom of the page, you can just click. I have a link tree. Thank you to my friend Alicia. This one is just going to be divided into two. I'm going to turn it this way. I want to make sure that the 
pieces that are facing me are the front and not the viney back spots. I love this red because it has a bit of like a barn red. It's not super bright. Some reds can get to the point where they almost appear a little bit pink. This one is really nice barn red. Somebody's saying to Ruth, Pam Williams, to Ruth, I don't get notifications anymore. You have to go to the LLC and... Make sure that you go to the top of the page. There's three buttons there. And if you click those three buttons, it should say turn, go to notifications, and then turn on your notifications. Sure the Sometimes page, they get so. turned off by Etsy. They get reset somehow, especially when they're doing upgrades and changes. It's never deliberate. I would never kick you off the page unless you were rude to me or somebody else on my page. Um, and I'm sure that you were not because I only have sure wonderful the people. LLC page, that's all. Yeah, and then make sure it's the, if you go to the regular page, it's going to say, hey, don't know if you know, but we've moved. And that way they know to go to the LLC. Because the old page is still there. But, whoopsie. But, um, you won't find any new content there. Okay. All right, we got red, white, I need two blues to make me a little bit happier. Actually, I have another one of these. I don't know why I'm being so stingy. I can just use Move another to one. the page, Candy. Hey, Candy. Candy. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. My name is Jojo at Jojo's Rustic Remnants LLC here on Facebook. I My, my jam for those who are new is this stuff. It's the rustic, but... My hobbies need hobbies sometimes, and I get a little, you know, you get a little bored as a designer. You got to try new things sometimes. So I will pull out, you know, the gems and do all that kind of fancy glittery stuff too. But I always sort of return to my first love, which is collecting antiques and vintage items like cameras and typewriters and telephones, and then trying to make beautiful decor with those. So again, I'm going to separate these out. And just keep adding them where I feel it needs a little bit of color and, and filler. She's from Hillsborough, West Virginia. West Virginia. Well, welcome. It's nice to have you here. If you would like and follow the page, click that share button. I'd so appreciate it. I don't want to um, cover up my star, so I'm staying to one side. Plus, I love the grapevine. I love that look, so I like it to show a little bit. Um, let's do a little bit of blue over here. And grapevine, I think, is probably my favorite thing to do. I think mostly because I live here in New England and it's probably, I don't know, what would you say, Ma, the most popular, right? Or mo most, uh, not popular is the wrong word, but I guess the standard for a New England wreath, I guess. Let's see. It is a little warm in here, Ma. Michiano's breathing hard. Although today was very warm for... New England in April was over 70, which is lovely, don't get me wrong, but all right. we need a little bit under here, and I'm going to go in with the white, big piece, and then over there, because so I want it to help hold these ribbons up. And again, I don't like my colors to be matchy-matchy, so I have white here and I have white here. I'm fine with that. Um, I don't want it to be red, white, blue, red, white, blue. If you want to, that's totally fine. Where? Sylvia, we are 81 degrees and it's hot. Where? Sylvia. 81 degrees, that's too hot. That is too hot, friends. 
Tina the door and read some more. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hi, Tina. Come on in. Say hello. All right, underneath this bow loop. She lives in El Paso, Texas. Well, hello. I love Texas. No, Sylvia lives in. I just love Texas, but I can't live there because I would die of self-combustion. Like, my thighs would rub together, and boom, I'd explode. That would be the end of it. Because it's too hot there. Okay. Up here, behind this beautiful bow. Can you guys see? I hope you can see. We're going in with some more blue back here. Okay. And a little bit of white. You need to be in the middle 50s for the rest of the week, Tracy. Yeah, it is supposed to cool down here as well, Tracy. Brushes and boards. Hi. Hello, MSNJ. Is your thing working, Mom? Uh -huh. <gasps> Nana's so happy her iPad is working. Yeah. All right, we're going to the, the white and the eucalyptus under that bow. And then one more piece of eucalyptus. And I'm going to put that under my berries. And the reason I do that is that I like to have... So, you know, we reached 110 in summer here. Lord Jesus. See, that's just too just much. Don't that's like, like that. What? I'm going under here in Tucson, Arizona. Woo! That's toasty. I don't like humidity at all. It's not good for my hair. To lower 80s outside oh, see, I, see, I'm sweating into my eyeglasses. Austin Burns, sweating in places I shouldn't be. <laughs> I hear you. Okay, so now I am going to cut these because they are way too long, but I'm not going to leave them too, let me just cut them longer at first, and I do like to cut them different lengths, I don't like them to be the same, um, but I may have to cut that even shorter. I'm just trying to decide what it's I like. It's way under the girls. Oh, I hear ya. I, I can't... Um, I don't mind heat so much, but I do not like Michigan humidity. Or have you ever been to Michigan? I used to live there. I lived in Michigan. I lived there. I lived there and worked there for several years. Michigan is a lot like Massachusetts. How My, long have you been crafting? Um, forever. I crafted. I was in 4-H as a little kid, and I was in college. So I've always been on the artsy side, right? I was I was a singer in yeah, high school. Eight minutes, so I, I went to doing? college for singing. Then I decided I didn't want to be a music teacher. I was like, I don't like school. Why would I want to go teach? So I got out of that and I started working. These are going to get cut a little shorter. Working at a bank. And then when I figured out what I wanted to do with my life, I, I finished... Four years of school and two and a half years got it done and got hired and worked like crazy and that's it. All right, guys. I know we have eight minutes left, but I think we're done. Let me just do a little separate in here. See how we like this. Pulling out and curling my ribbons. Gosh, guys, this is pretty. This would be really, really pretty. Yeah, so, you're being a 4 h -er. It's not like it is now. I, I wish 4-H was like it was when I was there. We did everything by hand. I went to a 4-H event, and I was so mad because all the kids were doing were putting crafts together from Oriental Trading. I'm like, that is not 4-H. I actually went to state. So if you are, were a 4-H crafter, going to state is like going to the Olympics for an athlete. And you sort of do your design in front of judges and other people. And I think that's where I got, like, my crafting and my ability to speak in front of other people was learning that skill through 4-H and not knowing that it was going to teach me that. But here we are on the sides. Beautiful boxwoods as well as eucalyptus and berries. But a super simple wreath, right? I used four stems, two Two mini boxwoods. I used two of those um, Designer Excellence Berry Picks. I used ribbon and a star. That's a pretty simple recipe, um, but it came out really stunning. I was a forager for 10 years and an advisor for 25. So, Catherine, have you seen what's going on with them now? I don't know. Hopefully that's not happening everywhere in the world. That Maybe it's just happening here. But um, it's kind of sad that they're not... 
I think some of them are getting into robotics and stuff like that. Hey, Missy. Uh, hi, Donna. Hi, everybody. Hi, Natalie. I missed Candy Reef. I don't say Reef. I say there. Reef. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Cookie. Sorry we missed you, but you can watch the replay. Um, I am done for the evening. I'm going to guys let you guys go and get yourselves a drink before you catch on to the other one. I went to look up the, right before I went live, the person who's going to be next, and I couldn't find the schedule. The schedule that I saw this morning wasn't there in the same place. So, um, But you can always, always go <laughs> yeah, to... This, I think imagination is the thing of the past, unfortunately. It's very sad. It's a, they're, it's a very different generation of people coming in, and I don't think... COVID help that in any way, shape, or form. We see it in our early college students now that they don't have the ability we'll to see you on Wednesday. I, talk I'm in Nana front of people. Here on Wednesday. Nana and Maria, my sister, and my niece and my nephew. My niece is headed out to look at a college out in North Three Carolina. Colleges. Three colleges. Pardon me. She just got asked to prom this week. She just got her dress. It's navy blue, which is my favorite color. She looks stunning. Really stunning. <laughs> So I'm excited for her. I won't be able to see her, though, that night because I have a huge event at the college on the same night. So I'm very sad. So my family better, better take good pictures because usually that's my job. But anyway, guys, have a great night. I will see you on Wednesday. Much love to all of you. And those of you who are new, please come and uh, like and follow JoJo's Rustic Remnants, LLC. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm live every Sunday and Wednesday at 6 p.m., same time, same living room. And if I'm not, I will post it. Bye, guys. Have a great night, and we'll see you soon.